I have a family in uh, Jerusalem. They live in a small place called uh, Mevaseret Zion, which is a border of uh, Jewish settlement and Arab villages, on the one side of the hill, and the Arab village called Abu Ghosh is on the other side of the hill. Abu Ghosh is famous for its Mediterranean foods, and the villagers live off the restaurants that they build in the middle of the village, and thousands of people every day coming to eat there and take out uh, Jerusalem uh, citizens and, and people from all over Israel. Starts in Tifada, and uh, of course, because there's a lot of killings, uh, Arab throw stones, killing Jews, uh, unrest, uh, people are afraid to go to restaurants, especially in the Arab villages. So livelihood of the villagers are uh, endangered. The uh, elders of the village coming together uh, to find a solution for this problem. And uh, since that day, on two-mile road from uh, Jerusalem to this uh, place, Abu Ghosh, and this road went through uninhibited hills. Every 200 yards were uh, a chair, and for about 10 hours every day, seven days a week, Arabs from Abu Ghosh with weapons in their hands, with rifles in their hands, were sitting in the chairs facing the Arab side of the hill. They knew exactly where the danger to their business can come from. During all the years of Intifada, Nothing happened. No one single incident of violence happened on the road to Abu Ghosh and in the Abu Ghosh itself. The place become uh, three times larger with a lot of new restaurants because half of the country were coming there. It was the safe, safest place on, on, in Israel at that time. So what I'm saying is, uh, I'm saying viva capitalism. This is what I'm saying.